All right, welcome. This is the AP Physics Workbook Solutions. Here you have Unit 7, Torque and Rotations. Here you have Section uh, 7 point B, which is Torque. Okay, here's the scenario. A large rod of length L and a negligible mass supported of mass M. The left end of each rod is held in place by a frictionless pin about which it can freely rotate. In each case, a vertical force is holding the rod and the weight at rest. The rods are marked at half meter intervals. Okay. All right. So before we do that, let's get you some notes. Okay. Pause the video if you would like to grab some notes here. Okay. So the first thing is what torque is. Here is some information. You can apply the force A perpendicular to the door here. And there are different radiuses. So FB here has a radius of FB and it goes from this center right here, which is called the um, angle of rotation, or this is called also the, uh, basically where X is equal to zero, okay? And these are all the different radiuses, all right? This is called the lever arm, all right? So torque can be defined by a force is going to be applied to the um, perpendicular to the radius, okay? Or sometimes you might see it as RF sine theta, um, the rho here stands for the torque. R stands for the radius. Sometimes you might see this as just distance. Okay. From the axis of rotation. Okay. Might see that. And you know what F means. This is just the force. Okay. Force. All right times sine theta, okay? Good, all right, and here's some examples of torque, all right? So if an object is in equilibrium, we know that the torque, the external torque must be equal to zero. In this case, torque that is counterclockwise, so torque that is going this way in motion has to be equal to the torque like that. Okay, exactly like when we did forces. Good. All right. So we're going to use that information for this one. And we are going to rank it based on uh, this information. Okay, so let's just do the first one for you. Okay. So we know that in these case, it is being marked. Each end rod is being marked by a um, half meter interval. So this is x is equal to zero this is x is equal to 0.5 x is equal to one x is equal to 1.5 and here x is equal to two right here i'm just going to make my life easy by just making the mass one kilogram right okay so what we can do here is that we can say that the torque clockwise is the same thing as going to be the torque counterclockwise okay so the torque produced by this one which is um the force there is going to be m g but we know what m is right it's one okay and we know what g is right we're just going to make that 10. this is going to be equal to what's this force it's at two and Oh, I forgot the radius. So here, let me write this out for you. So it's radius times force is equal to radius times force, right? You know what the radius is here, right? The radius is 0 0.5. The force is mg, which is 1 times 10. That's going to be equal to your radius here, which is 2 times your force, okay, applied. Right, that's what you're trying to apply for. Good. All right. So if you work this out in your calculator, you should get, let me see here, times 1 times 10 divided by 2. You should get that the force applied here is equal to 2.5. Okay. All right. Um, I'm going to do it here. I'm going to do it one more time here. Then I'm going to have you do the rest. Okay. All right. So here same thing uh 
r times f is equal to r times f okay doesn't matter how you set up the clockwise or counterclockwise i'm going to make this box go cl clockwise and this is going to go counterclockwise not the other way counterclockwise all right okay so this is going to be here this is force applied so this is this was at the two this is at the one all right so here you have two was the radius the mass of the boss is one okay so radius times mg because that's the force the radius times your force applied okay your radius here was two the mass is one gravity is just 10. the radius for the force applied is one times force applied because that's what you're trying to solve for okay two times one times ten divided by one uh oh that looks off hold on two times one times ten divided by one you get fa is equal to 20 okay let me double check this one i want to just make sure the numbers are right uh, point 0.5 times 1 times 10 divided by 2. Oh, yeah. Okay, good. All right. So I want to pause the video. Make sure you um, uh, do the rest. Okay. Uh, I'm going to pause it for C. All right. So I just did all of these. And again, it follows the same format. Um, let me get, yeah. So let me write it right here. Okay. So the torque counterclockwise is the same thing as the torque counterclockwise. Sorry, torque clockwise is equal to the torque counterclockwise, okay? The clockwise is going to be the radius times the force gravity on the box. This is going to be equal to, again, same thing, radius times force applied because this is on the finger, okay? This is the box. This is the finger. This is the radius. This is going to be mg because that is the force of gravity r which is the radius and fa is what you're trying to solve for okay so in short okay um this is how you do remember the r's don't cancel this is the r of the box this is a radius to the box this is the radius to the finger okay here's your calculations okay um then it's just neater okay here you're gonna rank it based on the values so i have fa is 20 and fa is 20 so b is going to be equal b and f are the same here then uh then after that after 20 we have a 7.5 which is c then after 7.5 we have d which is five okay oh shoot I don't have enough room, so probably they want B and F on the same one. Then they want C because that is 7.5. So this was 20 Newtons. This was 7.5 Newtons. Then 5 Newtons for D. Then we have 3.3 .3 Newtons for E. Then we have 2.5 Newtons for A okay now they just said explain your reasoning again here's your calculation but you have to explain it with words okay so take this time to do that okay so what this is what i wrote this basically explains my math here okay so the long rod is at equilibrium therefore the sum of the torque clock counterclockwise is equal to clockwise here i just wrote it differently okay torque clockwise is equal to the torque counterclockwise there are three torques in each situation okay there's the torque on the pin there's the torque that is caused from the box being pulled down by gravity and the force applied okay now we know that the for the pin right here is zero because the radius here is zero so zero times any force is just zero so the only two forces is basically the force on gravity that is acting on this box and the force applied okay like what i wrote therefore we can set the torque of the box by gravity equaling to the torque applied by the finger on the rod that's your vertical for force all right Next, on the diagram, sketch the force acting on the box rod system, and the force must be turned out, can't be ignored. Okay, so again, there are three forces, all right? So let's 
uh, let me just um, gra um, graph it for you in blue, okay? So here, this is force and this is x up, okay? This is the force of the pin. The box is in the center, goes down. This is force of gravity. And here, a good, it's right, these two have to be this it has to be equal to this so make sure the lengths are good and this is going to be my force applied because that's how i'm pushing it up all right same thing here okay force box is going to go down this has to go up okay force gravity force applied so the pin here has to go down force pin okay up force applied down force gravity so this has to go up force of the pin repeat here force applied down force gravity this is going to go up force of the pin repeat the process force applied by the finger force gravity going up force of pin down force of uh, force of gravity up force applied so this is going to go down force of pin sorry force of pin good all right did we do that perfect good next uh, in which case is the force of the pin up down or zero we already justified that all right now we just have to label uh, which one is up in each case so take a look which ones are going up okay we should see it's a c d and E. Okay. So this is A, C, D, and E. Which one's going down? That is B and F. And from the pin is zero, in what case that is none? Okay. All right. The next part. Explain in a short paragraph with reference to the picture above. Why is it easier to hang a shopping bag from the cr crooks of your elbow? This is what the crooks of the elbow is right here, right? Then to carry it suspended from your hand with your arm at a 90 degrees, okay? Pause the video, try it. All right, so I wrote the explanation, but I just wanna draw to you sort of what I'm referring to, okay? So assume that the elbow is the um, pivot points all right, here's your hand. Here's your elbow. So your elbow, crook, is going to be where x is equal to 0. That's the center. And all of this is going to be r. All right? OK. So assume the elbow is the pivot point. Holding the bag from your hand causes a torque uh, because there is a long length of r. Holding the bag from the crooks of your elbow, okay, here, we will have a torque of just force of gravity, okay. We'll cause a small torque because the radius here is super small, okay, so it's a small r. Based on Newton's third law, holding the bag in equilibrium, the body will have to apply an equal and opposite torque that caused a strain. So here, there's going to be a small strain up, okay? This is force of tension, all right? That's what you're feeling. Holding the bag at the crooks will have a less than at the um, forearm because at the forearm, do you see here? Force G is going to be times R, all right? So there's going to be a torque here. Here, it's going to be same thing, right? Which is going to be greater because this is R times FG. Okay, here there's a little r. Okay, good. So this is torque caused by the tension. All right, and this is force of gravity that's pulling it down. All right. So there you go. All right, assuming same mass. All right. This is why it's better to put the bag near the elbow or the crooks of the elbow. So your radius is super small. So you have less torque and less um, force tension. The torque caused by force of tension. You want less of that um, straining your body. 
All right, but there you go. Those are all your solutions for seven um, point B. Here are your notes. If you would like the notes, pause the video here. This is the information definition and equation for torque. Here is torque at equilibrium. All right.